welcome. My name is Kama Pierce and I'm the COO of the Levine Museum of the New South. And I am joined today with Patrick Diamond. Patrick is a local patron of the arts and hero and uh, just a very good friend of the museums and of mine. And he has done something very important and very special for our, our community and for our history. He's a published a book the incredible joy of collecting African-American art. And um, we are a history museum and we love to tell everyone's story here. And art tells story as well. So it's really important, this endeavor that Patrick has taken on to preserve um, the African-American history and to help us for generations understand the import, not only of the beauty of art, but also the story that it tells. I just have to share one story, Patrick, before I pass you on so that everyone understands how this has been really a real passion of yours. When I first moved to Charlotte with my family, the first time I met Patrick and his lovely wife was um, they had donated um, their um, Romare Bearden collection to my son's school so that young people could learn about this wonderful African-American artist. And it was such a generous um, donation and my son and, and his young friends got so much out of it. And so when I say that you have, this is a passion and then you've really given back to the community, I'm not exaggerating. So I think my first question for you, Patrick, is why did you write this book? Okay, I can't thank you enough for your willingness to arrange this uh, interview this morning. Um, again, I, I thank you and the Levine Museum of the New South uh, for, for this opportunity. Um, my grandmother was the inspiration for this book, uh, Kama. As a child, when I'd visit her in her Augusta, Georgia home, I was absolutely mesmerized by the artwork and the family photographs that she displayed throughout her home. So uh, basically I inherited it, inherited my interest in African-American art and culture as a direct result of, of the influence of my grandmother. Wow, that's interesting. Mm -hmm. And so tell us, you know, it's not just that you collect, but it's been really important to you and your wife that you educate the community, that you share with the community. You've gifted me pieces of art, and now you're gifting all of us with this chronicle of your passion. Why is that important to you? Well, it's, it's important because we um, have been very, very fortunate. Judy and I have had the extraordinary opportunity of meeting some of the most important African-American artists of the 20th century. It includes, uh, you know, artists like uh, Romeo Bearden, Elizabeth Catlett, uh, Richard Hunt, uh, and others. And uh, they welcomed us into to their lives. Uh, again, we were able to form friendships with, with many of the artists that we collect. And again, it's just been a, a tremendous journey that has inspired us in, in in lots and lots of ways. And, and one of the ways in which I wanted to, to share this was through this uh, uh, a memoir. I love that. And it is really important, like I said in the beginning, you know, we might be a history museum, but um, art does chronicle history for our for generations. And it's really important what you and Judy have done to make sure that you are collecting, but not just for your own personal enjoyment, but you share, you share that history and you honor African-American artists. And I think people are really beginning to understand the import of collecting different cultures and understanding the import different cultures have on us as a country. And so what would you say to the young collector who, you know, has an interest in uh, maybe it's Native American art or Asian art or something. Um, how do they begin collecting? Uh, that's a great question, Kema. Uh, in fact, uh, at the end of the book, I list out about 14 or 15, you know, just tidbits of advice for beginning collectors. Uh, the very first piece of advice uh, that I would offer a, a beginning collector would be only to buy uh, artwork uh, that uh, that you like, that appeals to you, that uh, a new collector should not be too overly influenced by uh, friends or, or other collectors, but only purchase 
items that uh, that the individual would like to have in their home and um, uh, live with that art um, on an ongoing basis. So uh, again, uh, uh, the beginning collectors should just buy art that they like. And look, we both understand we might be a little older, but when you're starting out, finances are tough, right? So how does someone who might be on a tight budget start embarking on this if it's a desire? You know, one of the things that Judy and I learned early on in our um, acquisition uh, journey was that uh, quite a number of uh, commercial galleries, uh, you know, are interested in uh, supporting uh, beginning collectors and offering uh, those collectors the opportunity to, you know, initiate a down payment on an image and then work out a, a payment schedule. Uh, in many instances, uh, we were able to uh, again, arrange uh, to purchase works, you know, over a 12-month period, over a six-month period. And again, over time, we've been able to uh, assemble the collection. So uh, uh, commercial galleries are very open to those conversations uh, with beginning collectors. Oh, that's excellent. Thank you. Great advice. So listen, um, whether you are a beginning collector or this is also a passion of yours, I invite you to pick up Patrick's book. We are actually carrying it at the museum. So um, for those of you that are local, come down to the Levine Museum into our bookstore. Um, and we would love for you to you know, visit us and purchase a copy or you can get a copy online. Um, we have our address um, to our website going down below and you can actually get on and we can send it out to you regardless of where you live. But this is definitely something you want to add to your book library. Patrick, thank you so much for taking the time to write this. Thank you so much for sharing your journey. And thank you for just, you know, being my personal local hero because um, you've enriched my life for sure. And now you can enrich others with your chronicle. Kim, and thanks a million. I really appreciate this opportunity. Get out there. Hope to see you at the bookstore. <laughs>